ladies and gentlemen good morning and this is my driver akhil and this is my pr <laughs> sam how are you good so today we are so today we are going to wadi mangal it sounds mean? sounds like an indian name but it is not um Where is this place? It's Kuryat or something. So it is after Kuryat. Uh, very few people have gone there, and that's the whole point. You know, go explore, explore the unexplored, and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. And it's the sun is up. It's I hope it's not too hot, not too humid, and let's see. Oh, so we are almost here in uh, Wadi Mangal. Oh, looks like a sunny day. It will, it will be hot, I guess. We started off from Matra. Uh, that's where I live, and it took us around uh, hour, hour and a half. Actually, hour and a half because we stopped in the middle. But it's easy road. It's it's straightforward. You can get the uh, map locations in the uh, in the description. or just google it you will get it and i'll still put the application but yeah it's it's easy drive nothing complicated you don't need a four wheel you can just come by sedan and yeah looks okay so far it's just the sun behind me is like so yeah see what i see feel what i feel So this is the beginning of the hike and So we start off the hike. You drive up till you drive on the gray, uh, dirt road till the last farm or the house, and then stop there, park your car, and then start hiking. The thing is, uh, the only issue with this hike is the trail is not marked, so you just have to figure your way out. But I heard it's pretty straightforward, and just go and come back around five kilometers, right? Yeah, around five kilometers. So. Yeah. Well, it's quite hot. Ah. Just if you come just make sure you get enough water, plenty of water and Yeah. So we are making our way through this uh village there are this villagers they keep i think well it is surely very hot the sun is up just make sure you apply on some sunscreen get plenty of water and yeah and for sure hiking shoes or boots what are we prefer so basically this hike is just straight forward so far we are making our way through the palaj to the village we came across it came across through two locals the farmers ah, good so far can't wait to see the wadi
So I guess we are 30% done with the hike. No wonder there is no one literally because this is like a old village that only the village where only the villagers come. No outsiders, no one. No wonder there is no hiking trail which is marked. But yeah. It's it's quite fascinating. It's like such such a place exists as well the rock formation which i'm going to talk especially about let me show you something look at this look at this rock formation it looks like there's a bunch of cds which has been piled up and cut into shape it's it's quite unique really unique Oh, it is for sure very hot. Look at the sun. Again, it's super quiet. You can hear the sound of the water or of the wadi flowing. But yeah, it's a beautiful experience. It's super hot, super hot. So we are not sure where we are going and there is no sign of Wadi. God it's 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 yeah. I'm gonna wait. It's too hot. I'm a guy like me, I'm not accustomed to heat. I don't deal well with the heat and the humid. I cannot, I cannot. God, it's really hot. The summer is horrible in Oman. It's really horrible. God, I'm getting tanned as well. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's super quiet. It's uh, super quiet and it's super hot. And yeah, just, even though we we get or we don't get the wadi, it's always an experience. Uh, and hikes, in general, is like uh, it's like life. You know, we I was just talking to my friend about the same thing. My, this is what my friend told me. Uh, we all are heading in the same direction, but it's just the experience is different. You know, so we all are heading to the wadi. Maybe he's gonna go from there. I'm gonna go from there. So yeah. Uh, I think we are moving again. All right, based on assumption that the wadi is there. So we have been walking in this one for quite long. And this, my friend, is the waterfall. Jacket. I can swim, but I'm not confident enough. Okay. The last thing is I don't, I don't, I want to drown in an isolated wadi where there is no one. So, yeah. Let me know. Wow, wow. <laughs> this is by far one of the best things I've ever done in the world. There's a water spot. 
One, two, three. <laughs> oh. So we we just gonna chill for uh, thirty minutes and then push back, hike back because thing is the sun is up, it's literally up and it's gonna drain us of our energy. So we just gonna sit back, relax, and why not? You know. All right, so we are heading back. We just waited for the sun to come down, but I think it is still. Yeah, it's two. It's already two. Wrong way. Ah, God. So yeah, but it looks incredible, and we see two more people there, two ladies who have joined. But it's time to go, <laughs> and yeah. Again, uh, if you come to a place like this, just make sure you you have sunscreen on, enough water, you know. And if you really cannot tolerate the heat, then it's not this place is not for you. Maybe in the winter, but not during the summer. So yeah. <laughs> Almost done with the hike. We're crossing the foliage right now. A uh, few tips. The terrain is quite harsh. So I would suggest you get some of the best uh, hiking shoes like tough, you know. And if you can find something like this, a stick, or if you have a professional gear or like, you know, stick, like, you know, to walk, to support, I think that would be advisable. And of course, water and yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> Just be careful when you when you go and when you come back because there are a lot of loose, loose rocks and the terrain is, as, as I said, it's quite harsh. So just take care. I think everything else is fine. This is Manjal. It's Manjal, right? Wadi Manjal. Yeah, he's a bit creep. Uh. So yeah, we are done with the hike. Uh, again, it's super hot. A few tip would be, don't do it in the summer, do it in the winter. And again, have good shoes, get enough water. And yeah, if you're doing the hike, if you're doing the hike from here, take the foliage road on top. And then I would say take the mountain on top because it's way, way more easier. You may think it's, it's risky, but no, it's no. Uh, the mountain route on the top top of the mountain it's much much better much easier because there's a lot of boulders a lot of rocks that you got to climb over and it's it can it can take a toll on your knees kneecaps so i would say mountain route is much better and again come with a small group or have someone who can uh, who's advanced who knows the how to get through so yep and otherwise come with me <laughs> otherwise i'll leave you there <laughs> yeah he has a bad habit of leaving people behind he, just, he, did, he did that with us, so... <laughs> come, with, come with us. Come with me.